politics now. Senate leaders do want to see progress when it comes to sexual harassment and assault in the military. And they say for years the Department of Defense failed to address it despite promising change. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell has the story for us tonight. The Department of Defense reports that almost 21,000 military service members were sexually assaulted in 2018. And while the sexual assaults have doubled, the rates of prosecution and conviction have fallen. People who commit sexual assault are like sharks hunting. You aren't aware of them until they, they attack. Through accountability, we can make the water so hostile to the shark that they are afraid to hunt. Today, Natalie Kawam, the family attorney of slain Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen, testified during the Senate's Armed Service Committee hearing on sexual assault in the military. You protect these men and women that serve like they protect us. I only speak because I know what I'm talking about, as do you. I know what they're going through and I know what they say to me. And without any kind of improvement and revisions and reform, our members of the military are going to continue to be afraid to join. Kwam says there's no accountability in the military. She pleaded for senators to change legislation to make men and women in the military, as well as families like Vanessa Guillen's, feel safe. This family went through so much and they're still going through it. Look at these reports that are coming out. They still don't have answers. We need change. We need legislation. Reporting in Colleen, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News.